So now let's talk about how to turn off light notifications on your iPhone and by that term I mean that whenever you receive a notification your flashlight on the back side of your phone just lights up in order to inform you that you received some sort of notification or that someone is calling you. And you can in fact easily remove it so you go to the settings and you cannot find it in the notification tab. Instead you need to go to your accessibility and scroll down to the bottom and here you should be able to find audio and video visual so you're gonna tap on it and here again scroll all the way to the bottom and here is the visual section and LED flash for alerts so tapping on it allows you to enable it altogether and then create or change some things like make, make adjustments so you can only flash when unlocked or flash in a silent mode because if you have this enabled in the silent mode you're not gonna be the flashlight will not go off so this is uh these are all the things that you can actually do and this is how you can set it up i would personally say that the best way to go about it is to leave the flash in silent disabled so that means that whenever you go to your silent mode by the mute switch on the, the side of the iphone you don't need to worry about the flashlight uh, interrupting anyone or be disturbing to anyone around you so you know that when you turn off the mute switch when you ex actually enable the silent mode no sound and no light will be emitted from your iphone and you can stay being peaceful that whenever you are in a church or any other occasion you can be sure that uh, you're not going to be uh, disturbing other people so this will be about it if you'd like to know how to change the sound of a notification on your iphone it's a bit more complicated because yeah you have some settings here for like the basic stuff in the, the sound section so you have like mail and calendar events and ringtone but for other apps if you want to know like like how to for example change the ringtone for a third-party app make sure to check out this video right here in which i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do